nine. That's down and in. The walks have been a bit of an issue recently for Aspen Wesley, and she walks Malloy to begin the ball game. Yeah. At the plate right now, one on, no one out. A slow roller back to the circle. Wesley fires it over. And that'll work as good as a sack bunt would have been Sophia Nugent. The catcher will be up. Out to short. Thrown across in plenty of time. Malloy gets the third safely. Pooney grounds out. The senior Riley West steps in for Tennessee. A good hitter. Hits one through, and that will drive in a run. Tennessee is on the board. One to nothing, an RBI single from Riley West. Base, slow roller. It looked like Nadia Barbary might have had a chance. Can't get there. Then Kylie Edwards might, and just not in time. And that's a big RBI single for West. Just, just forcing a bunch of foul tips to keep this at-bat alive. Slow roller. Out to third, throw across the diamond in time, and Nugent is retired. Tennessee, though, scores in their first at bat. They're on top early by walked only 25 hitters on the year in over 112 innings. And she just walked her 26th. So we saw Tennessee get a leadoff walk. Ground ball, that's a fair ball. Down the corner and left. This will roll all the way to the wall. This will score Sacco. That's an RBI double for Barbary and the SEC's best offense. Here they go again. They answer immediately and we're tied at one. Yeah, that was a solid hit from Barbary. Wasn't sure initially if it would stay fair and it does. And I mean, just like that, we've got a tie ball game early on since Sacco home, had a plenty of time and now in the outfield for Tennessee, West and left, Malloy in center, panel in right, big time strike out there with a runner on base. Chopper, that's gonna get right past the runner and into left field, jumping like a track hurdler is Barbary. Tennessee's going to appeal. I, I think it might have gotten a piece of Barbary because that ball changed directions. Yeah, I was... we'll, we'll take a look at it. Barbary running the bases and it gets oh, a piece yeah, of her, her foot as yep. she jumps. Yeah, they're going to have to review this set. Close play. After further review, the batted ball did make contact with the runner. The runner is out for interference. Oh, let's. Oh, maybe it did. Oh, that's close. I, I think it might have. Well, I was wondering why the Bulldogs were bringing Blaine. Further review, the batter ball did come off of the batter's foot. <laughs> the result is a foul ball. <laughs> we have one ball, two strikes, and both teams have lost their challenge. Oh. So here we go, a runner in second. One out. Oh, that ball comes in and hits her. It hits Jesse Blaine, and now State's got runners at first and second. Two on base, less than two outs. The catcher, Wes Solowski, at the plate now for State. That ball's in the dirt, and it hit her. Yeah, it hit her. So it's not a wild pitch, but clearly... Smiles tells me so. Clearly, either somebody was hit, or they almost got hit. Meanwhile, Cook, a swing and a miss. But if you're Mississippi State right now, you cannot leave three runners on. That ball is going to get right out to the second baseman, Rodriguez, who will touch the bag, and State will leave them stranded. Tennessee gets out of the jam. If, how the, oh. if they're going to keep the hard hit ball, going to be caught on a sprint. Back to the wall, Sacco hauls it in and robs Rodriguez of an extra base hit. What a play. Hey, tonight as well, so you really don't know what you're going to get. Swing and a miss. Change of speeds there from Wesley. And she gets the strikeout for him. Won the count with Mueller in the on-deck circle if the inning is kept alive. This could drop in. No! 
Oh, diving grab by Bradley St. Clair. One thing, but excelling when you go into conference play is really special. That ball is going to sneak right under the glove of Mueller at shorts, and that will be a leadoff base runner. I think they'll score to hit. Hits one in the left for a base hit. What a great job there by St. Clair. Shorten the swing. She might have even choked up some on the bat. Drop ball is a hard ball to bunt. Sacco now swinging away. Hits one in the left. Coming around third is Hawkins. She will score. Sliding in the third safely is St. Clair. Safe at first is Sacco. And the Bulldogs have their first lead tonight at two to one. Got the thumbs up and the thumbs down <laughs> on the same play there from our official score. Yeah, you take a look at it. It looks like it sh should have been a routine play from Gibson. Maybe not routine, a lot of power behind it. But there you see West and left field just swing and a miss, but Sacco takes off for second stolen base. And now the ball gets away from Nugent. Coming in, sliding home safely as St. Clair. And the Dogs add to their lead. It's now three to one State. What work from Mississippi State in these first couple innings. St. Clair able to take home, is safe. It's three to one. You're getting on base. The offensive categories, what a great season. High fly ball, gonna be shallow though. Handle comes over in foul territory, makes the catch, trying to tag and score his Sacco, and she will. What a great run from the hugely athletic Sierra Sacco. Madison Kennedy's numbers and they're, they're video game like. Just continues to do insane things and here's the RBI and great play from Sacco to just get the outside of that play. Didn't try and go central, stayed away from it. State scores later. That was all back in the first inning. Bouncer out to short, thrown across in time by Mueller. Good stretch at first. And the inning is over. A stole hitter with a 338 batting average. Oh, the leadoff walk. Leadoff walk to the number nine hitter in Tennessee. Big bang stealer on Tennessee's team this year. Snap throw to first and almost. <laughs> that was close. Just getting back in time with a head percentage. Swing and a miss, a huge strikeout for Wesley. That's a hard hit ball, gonna be gloved for the first. Oh, they almost turned a magnificent double play, but what a great job just to get the force out of the lead runner by Hawkins and Edward. Four on the year, grounded out to short her first time up. That ball is downstairs. Quality at bat for Pooney. And now there are two on base and a tying run at the plate. And two on, two gone. Swing and a miss. Wesley gets another strikeout. That is her third of the ball game. And the Bulldogs maintain their advantage. Not sure many people thought they would do that against Pickens tonight, and they come out and do just that and continue to hit. West Olowski hits one that rolls all the way to the wall. She will slide safely into second base. Let you back into this one. It's anyone's game because we still have a lot to play. Cook hits one over the head of West. Stopping at third is Wallace, the pinch runner. Back-to-back -back doubles as Cook stands up at second. Other big-time pitcher, Gotzel. They go to Orsini, and that ball's lifted out to the gap. And that's going to drop in. And that's going to score two. Back to back to back doubles. And it's all Bulldogs here in the third inning. Six to one It just score Mississippi State. And that's a great hit from Kylie Edwards, who just finds the gap between left and center field. A whole lot of power behind it. Not enough to make it over the fence, but it goes straight to the warning track. Brings two runs in and a five-run lead for the Bulldogs. Now, 
A little excuse me swing. Back to the circle. Throw is low and off target. And that will score another Bulldog run. Sliding in head first and second is Hawkins and Mississippi State. Everything bouncing their way right now. There. Everything bouncing their way figuratively and literally. Uh, looks like it should be an out at first. Hawkins advances to second, a run scores. Scored last inning. Shows bunt, a good bunt. Right in front of the catcher, throw to first is just in time. Just in time at first base. It does move the runner Hawkins over to third. Goal. And then a throwing error. Charge to the pitcher. That ball is knocked up in the air by the first baseman. And Kasliannopoulos throws to third base and gets Hawkins out before she can dive back to the bag. Saying she didn't step on the bag. Take a look at it. I... ...was in blocking the leading edge prior to receiving the ball. That is... The runner is now safe. Knew that, though, because he knew immediately that they were going to win it, and... They went ahead and did just that. Barbary comes up swinging on purpose just to run some interference there. And now, they, now they've corrected the stat broadcast. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it is seven to one. <laughs> oh, a huge strikeout there for Orsini. Good job to get Barbary chasing one down and away. And he's already home on four hits in this at bat. That ball lifted out to left, should be caught though, and is caught by West right along the line. And the inning is over. That from a hit and an error to just an error. This ball hit out towards Hawkins. Throw to first, and the new first baseman, Riley Hole, will squeeze it for out number one. Line up and starting second baseman for Tennessee. And that misses high, so a very rare four pitch walk issued and that's what Tennessee needs right now just a one on one gone hard hit ball into the gap St. Clair cuts it off holding all in at second but a solid single from panel and that's the best hit tonight for Tennessee but the ERA coming in had gone up to 3.59 and she gets a huge strikeout right there for out number two Hard hit ball, that's going to be gloved and tagging the bag to get the force out is Nadia Barbary. Web gems all around tonight. On the same play that was a little earlier, so it's just a tough night for Tennessee. That should have been the sign early on <laughs> for Karen Weekly that it was not going to be an easy one tonight. His percentage up above 400 lifts one out to shallow right field calling for it is panel and she makes the grab for out number one I, I i would imagine they may not take their foot off the gas yet cook hits one into center field coming home, coming to third rather and sliding in safely is sells on the throw to third cook With runners on in scoring position this year, Edwards hitting 250. Hits one into the air, deep enough, should drive a run home as Panel makes the grab, throw Holmes off target, and that will be an RBI and a quality at bat for Edwards, and it increases State's lead now to eight to one. Just scored on Edwards' sack fly. This ball lifted into center field. Nice sliding catch made by Malloy. And that will keep Tennessee within seven runs. Which might have been a little more impressive. I, they, they've both been crazy tonight. Who knows? Grounder to short, thrown across by Edwards to hole in time. And Malloy is retired, hitless so far tonight. That's Gibson steps up, also hitless so far tonight. Slow roller could be trouble. Throw to first is just in time. And the Bulldog infield continues to play flawless. That was in the third inning. We're now in the fifth inning. High fly ball.
foul territory, ranging out his hole, and she makes it look easy. And the first baseman makes the grab a one, two, three inning and stays percentage. Yeah, and she's had 48, this being her 49th at bat. It's not like she's just had a handful of at bats and is up to 371 after a successful ball game that gets even more successful. St. Clair around second. She will stop at third. Throw comes all the way home. Already down seven. Barbary swinging, hits a no. It's going to be a wild pitch. She did not make contact. That ball sailed right over the head of the catcher. St. Clair scores from third, and that's going to end the ball game. Mississippi State is going to run rule Tennessee nine to one tonight in five innings. Yeah, we, we take a look at it. Wild pitch and send St. Clair home. White isn't able to get to home plate in time and that'll win it for the Bulldogs. And I, I mean, wow. That play indicative of how the ball game went.